Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Cancer. Could be for yourself or somebody you're cross-watching for. But it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, Cancer, let's see. What is the overall energy for you? For November, we have Soulmate. All right, so definitely a very um, intense connection here with another person. All right, it could be Divine Soulmate connection, could be a Twin Flame connection. Definitely, though, very spiritual, very deep. A lot of lessons. Let's see, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Just let the Sun um, card pop up. So definitely a connection that is very, um, I feel it's very authentic. Can definitely be very fulfilling or it has that potential. Let's see. Also brings a lot of things into your awareness. All right, Cancer. For the situation right now, we have the Nine of Swords crossed by the Six of Pentacles. All right, so there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, I feel like it's agony at the moment. And it's very difficult to bring this into some kind of a balance. I feel like maybe somebody is giving more than the other person, so there's not an equal give and take in this connection at the moment, and it's creating a lot of stress. Um, for your energy, we have the Three of Cups as well as the Hierophant. For them, the Two of Cups as well as the Four of Wands in reverse. Um, coming up for you, we have Justice in reverse. For them, we have the Empress, and the potential outcome here, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. All right. Let's see, what is going on here, Cancer? You're in this energy or a space of wanting things to be light with this person or possibly wanting um, a reconciliation with this person if you're not together. And you do feel like this is very spiritual. You want this to be... Um, a high level of a, a commitment. And maybe it was at some point, but it, it feels like there's this um, desire from your end for things to come back to this type of a dynamic here. For them, they definitely have a lot of love for you, okay? So, and I'm not surprised, right, having the soulmate card out as the, as the overall energy. But I feel like this person is not very stable. So whereas you're in this space of wanting commitment, I feel like you feel like you're ready for that or for things to go to the next level. There's something here with this person not, not, um, I think this person is not very grounded or is just not being very stable at the moment, not ready for a full on commitment. Um, however, we do have the Empress coming up for them though. All right, so that's, that's pretty good. This is showing, um, I actually see see this as <laughs> as them having you very strongly on their mind, having you very high up on a pedestal, but I also see it as them being more open to creating with you. So we'll see. For you, uh, with justice being in reverse, I feel like you you're still kind of feeling like you're not getting what you deserve that things don't seem fair, things don't seem to be in balance, like the Six of Pentacles, right, which is in the challenge challenge position here, feeling like you're still not getting as much as you are giving. Um, but we'll see. Ace of Wands in reverse as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to wait and clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. All right, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Wands. All right. Somebody's not walking away from this. Somebody is not 
um, detaching from the connection and I actually feel like that is what is creating more pain and that's creating more of a sense of things not being fair or of there being deceit because there's this really strong desire right to have victory and for this to just work out I kind of feel like that's you um, in the way that this is showing up. Of course, the roles can be reversed, okay? Um, yeah, so I feel like the more you stay in this energy of wanting this to work out no matter what, the more painful it is, the more stress it creates, the more agonizing it is. All right, let's see that three of cups in your energy. All right, the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Cancer. Okay, there's this, you know, you you do know what you deserve. You do know what is fair. You know that you're, that the situation isn't feeling balanced. Um, but I'm also getting that there's this, there's this call for you to possibly um, set a little bit more boundaries or to, you know, kind of um, give out a sense of self-respect. And I feel like because, you know, I mean, you, you, you feel that this is a soulmate connection, so you don't feel the need to do that, which is completely understandable. Um, but again, it feels like the more that, the more that you're wanting for this to have this, you know, beautiful ending and staying in it and being very giving, the more it's kind of stabbing you in the back. And so that's why there's this call for you to really find your your sense of self-worth, but actually also take action on that. Not just knowing what you're worth, but then actually um, walking that talk. So I feel like that's a major um, lesson in this possibly for you. Let's see the higher things. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. See, I, I mean, it's just confirming. It just keeps coming, coming up. And I, I mean, I get it. You know, you're you're at this place where you know you you might be ready for this. You know, you've done a lot of work on yourself. Um. But you you being in this energy again, it's it's um it's like that commitment then just like kind of keeps slipping away from you. It's not coming in. Let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Two of Cups. All right, the Six of Cups and the Three of Cups in reverse. Um, yeah, so definitely there's a very, very strong connection here. Okay, I'm gonna keep saying that, but it's, it's coming in even from this person's end. This person feels a lot of emotion for you. This person really feels that um, magneticism, that pull towards you. You definitely have, um, you know, shared many previous lives, past lifetimes together. However, this person is not in that Three of Cups energy like you are. So that's where things are out of balance, right? That's where you're giving that, they're not. And that's why then you have justice in reverse here. But again, it's because there needs to be this balance. So, it's again, you're, you're being called to really um, set some boundaries here. To be a little bit more firm. And it's not demanding that this, don't demand for this person to give you what you're giving them. Everybody has the right to do whatever they want, but it's just, what are you willing to tolerate? See the four of wands in reverse. All 
right, Page of Swords in Reverse and the Six of Swords in Reverse. If you guys can hear that, it's my, um, my cat snoring. All right, so yeah, this, there's a, a little bit of an immature energy coming from this person. And I feel like they're having a hard time finding their stability because they don't have that, the space to. Right, it's like they're having a hard time moving away from their patterns or from their way of being or having a hard time finding their own sense of stability because energetically um, you're kind of allowing them to just hold on to these old patterns. The potential is definitely here. Um, this is just something that, you know, has to play out for lessons to, to be learned and for experience to be gained. Let me see justice in reverse coming up for you. Yeah, the seven of cups and the four of cups in reverse. So, and by the way, right, whatever energy is coming up, oftentimes it doesn't mean that it is set in stone. This is something that is under your control. This is just a message for you or like a precaution of something that you can actually um, shift. And so that it doesn't have to be, you know, where you're feeling left, um, like you're being treated unfairly. I mean, I feel like you totally have the option here, right, of how, how this is going to proceed. And what I do see is that, you know, if it's all a matter of you clearing up some, some of the cloudiness, right, and being able to see clearly the situation and what is, what is the lesson in it for you. And it's like if you if you don't if you stay in the seven of cups energy where it's kind of like just seeing things a little bit um, like wishful thinking, right? For how you would want things to be, so you keep you know doing the same thing. Like that's kind of leading to discontentment here, almost like settling. I, I see this as being a precaution that if you keep accepting what you what you don't deserve, you're you're going to be feeling like justice isn't. Um, happening for you. But you, again, you do have the choice. Might not be easy, but you do have the choice to not allow somebody to um, treat you in a way that is not 100%, you know? So let's see the Empress coming up for them. All right, we have the tower in reverse and we have the five of wands. I see. <laughs> this is actually spirit showing us both um, possible scenarios here, depending on what you decide to do. Because I feel like, it's see, it's up to you. You have this option to fully become this empress, right? Being abundant um, within your own self, finding really, really deeply that sense of self-worth within your own self, not allowing anybody to step all over you or to not treat you fairly. And I feel like, you know, once, if you do that, that's actually going to be pretty conflicting for the other person. Like that is what is actually going to um, push them to really reconsider certain things. Yeah, in the beginning they might be, um, I, I do see them avoiding that tower, right? Not wanting to, again, not wanting to change their old patterns, not wanting to, you know, um, destroy old belief systems and move in a different direction, but it is going to conflict them. And it's only when there's this um, conflict with, within oneself or within a connection that change can actually happen. And that would even require for you to allow the tower to fall. 
right, for there to be a major shift for you. All right, let's see that Ace of Wands for the potential outcome here. All right, so we have, the lovers may or may not have been in reverse. Actually, they were both kind of weird the way they felt, but which is, again, it's confirming to me that, because it's the lovers and the four of wands, that it's really, um, it really is up to you how you decide to handle this. Both, both are actually possible, right? Um, this connection not being stable and continuing to be in this four of wands in reverse. Right, which it was this person's energy here, which is them not not um, wanting to be a hundred percent committed or not having a hundred percent stability. I feel like it is taking a little bit of time. I do see that these potentials are here, definitely, um, but I feel like it's going to require like a new a new way of um, handling the situation, a new way of seeing things, a new way of doing things. And in this particular case, well, if you're the one watching this reading, it does, it depends on, on you, right? Because we can only control ourselves. We can only control what we do. We can never control the other person. But that potential for this to actually happen is here. And again, you know, this is just for, <laughs> the time frame is only meant to be for a couple of weeks, right? So... Yeah, that is it, Cancer. That's what I got for you. Um, thank you so much for watching and much love.